The American dream has always played a very important part in America's self-perception. Uh, it is still very much alive and well in the sense that a lot of the people that I met who were really down and out still believed that they could drag themselves up uh, through their own efforts. If only they could work hard enough, if only they could get enough jobs. The reality, unfortunately, is very much against them. The United States has now become the least socially mobile country out of all of the rich countries in the world. So Americans are accustomed to looking at the British or the French or whoever and saying, well, of course, you have classes, you'll never escape those classes. The reality now in the United States is that if you are born and live in a certain zip code, you will probably forever be linked to that income level. So if you're born poor, you won't escape it. You'll get bad education, you'll get bad childcare, you'll get bad nutrition, and you'll end up with bad schooling and a bad job. If the opposite, you live in a wealthy zip code, you'll get a good education, you'll get good health care, and you'll get a good job. But the American dream has become the American illusion in too many respects.